God, man, this coffee is just like right on. You know, there's some mornings when coffee tastes just a little bit better than the other times. Let's go live. Here we go. Here we go. There we go, Teddy Martinez y Grupo Oro. Uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, Los Zos. There we go. Good morning, Double R Radio, 825, part of the mañana, January the 30th, 2020. 2020. 2020. Yeah, there we go. Good morning, Michelle. I got up to Michelle Cohen. Good morning, Michelle. How are you doing? Micaela. I'm going to start calling you Micaela. Okay, Michelle? That's cool, right? Micaela? That's cool. Anyway, tell me good morning, Chad. I got out to Brenda Silva. Good morning, good morning. Diane Martinez. You know, Diane, I haven't seen some of the posts you put on Facebook there. I'm, uh, <laughs> I was like, huh? I don't know about you, Diane. Anyways, maybe you do need that getaway to Las Vegas. Anyways, it is Thursday morning. You know, before I talk about anything, let me just say this. Um, I've talked about this before. There we go. Uh, are you sure you don't have... <laughs> All right. Michelle goes, Micaela goes, Robert, are you sure you don't have any Baileys in that coffee? Not yet, Michelle. Not yet. You know, uh, no lie. One time I was in Vegas. All true. I was in Vegas. Woke up. Went down to the slot machines. I was going to keep it simple. I said, the waitress comes. I know. No beer. Just it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Cup of coffee, please. And she goes, would you like some Baileys in it? And I go, all right. What's that going to hurt? 30 minutes later, four cups of coffee later, man, I was buzzing, and I was, like, wobbly, and everything. I was like, man, that Bailey's a coffee, man. It, uh, <laughs> anyways, I'll get you to the promised land. It really, really well. Good morning, Chad. I got to Sylvia Caballero. Good morning, Sylvia. Sylvia likes to tell me, mira, mira. That's right. right that. Anyways, uh, before I move forward here, um, let me just say this. On my radio station page, Robert Reavers Internet Radio Group page, hopefully you're a part of it. And if you're not, por favor, let me know so I can get you to be a part of it. Anyways, um, I added uh, Double R Radio sponsor Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez as one of my moderators to help me keep track of everything. And also, I just added Maria Lopez as one of my moderators for my radio station page. And I did this because I keep on getting idiots wanting to post other radio stations on my radio station page. And I'm running around doing my thing, and I can't keep track of everything. I try to, but I just can't. Cynthia as well, you know, so I said, we need to get one other person, so I want to thank Maria Lopez for also jumping on board and helping me keep track of everything on my radio station page, por favor. And all I ask of everybody is, I don't mind y'all putting your favorite songs or whatever the case, all that's good. But when they start advertising another radio station, on my radio station page, come on, man. Boy, it's kind of like if you have a page and you're selling donuts, right? It's for your donuts. Michelle's Donuts. And then somebody else comes in on Michelle's page and Lupita. And Lupita puts Lupita's Donuts. Try mine on Michelle's page. It's not right. doesn't make sense, right? You don't want that, right? So that's why, that's why I get upset. I don't want to get upset. But uh, I do, and there you go. So I don't get upset no more. I added a second moderator, and I welcome Maria Lopez as part of my moderating team on Double R Internet Radio Group page. Good morning, Chad Aganata. Sammy Gonzalez, good morning, brother. There we go. DJ Jerry Rasco, good morning, brother. How we doing? Fellow DJ. Now, that being said, let's talk here. Let's see what the hell is going on. Check this out. Crazy story. Africa. Village, no, it's not Africa. This is India. Villagers in India are dressing up as bears to scare off the monkeys. Just get a gun. I promise you, they're going to run. <laughs> I promise you, man, shoot at a couple of monkeys, they're all going to scatter. You don't have to dress up as bears. But anyway, these villagers in India are dressing up as bears to scare off the monkeys. There we go. And, uh, <laughs> hey, more power to you. There we go. <laughs> Wait a minute here. Let me see here. Uh, I got somebody telling me something. Somebody's calling me out here. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I don't want to go there right now. Let's see here. What else do I have? Now, check this out. Crazy story. Um, don't want to go there. We'll go here first. Chipotle. You know, we all know Chipotle, right? Where you, you know you get your burritos or whatever the, whatever they call them, whatever. Anyway, Chipotle is being fined $1.4 in a child labor case. Um People are claiming that Chipotle, they put these uh, high school students to work late at night, and these uh, students are not going to school. So they, uh, people are saying that they're, um, they are, um, 
breaking the child labor case law. I never even know this. To me, I could care less. I'm not a Chipotle fan. I could care less about Chipotle. Really, man, I, I don't get it. You know, there are some restaurants that are so popular. I don't get it. Good morning, Chad. I got to Bernadette Reyes. Good morning, Maria Lopez. There we go. Just talking about you, Maria. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, I don't get it. Really, Chipotle. I've tried it. I tried it one time. I don't get it. It's not... I'd rather go to a small hole in the wall taqueria for a couple of co couple of tacos and a cup of coffee. Another place, another place that I I do not understand. What the hell is that uh, steak? Uh, that uh, a chicken uh, chicken strip kind of a thing? What's that place called? Uh, where they only have one sauce? And I I, I don't know how these people survive. What are they doing, honestly? Now, let's see here. Well, check this out. Crazy story. We all know Frank Sinatra, right? Frank Sinatra. We all know, you know, Frank Sinatra passed away. But, hey, man, Mr. Blue Eyes himself, Mr. Frank Sinatra. Well, uh, Mr. Frank Sinatra, his estate is selling Frank Sinatra's gold-seated toilet. Wow. <laughs> Man, talk about having money to throw away, right? Uh, what do I want to do with my money today? I know! I want to get a gold seat and toilet! Por favor! Please! Well, anyways, uh, Frank Sinatra's gold seat and toilet is up for auction. And uh, let's see, it's, uh, the, toilet, the, the toilet has an estimated selling price of $1,500 to $2,000. Well... Uh, it sounds reasonable. Do I want to buy it? No, I don't think so. People can say, well, Frank Sinatra sat on that toilet. I could care less. I don't care. I don't care about that. I don't know. <laughs> to me, it doesn't matter, man. A toilet's a toilet, man. Hey, man, you got to go. You got to go. And that's that. Anyways, it is Thursday morning. Uh, stretch run towards the weekend. Uh, Super Bowl weekend right around the corner. Super Bowl Sunday. And uh, people have been asking me, Robert, are you going to be doing the Cruising Classic show this Sunday? I don't know yet. I'm going to have to figure this one out. I really, really am. We'll figure it out. Anyways, I tell you what. Let's keep it going. Let's do something by NXS. New sensation. Good morning, Double R Radio. Good morning, Shadow. Good morning, Sylvia Guzman. Tony Rivas. How you doing, primo? There we go. Good morning. How we doing, everybody? Anyways, this uh, man, I'm still checking the cobwebs here, man. Last night I went out. Well, yesterday afternoon I went out for happy hour. Happy hour with the boys. And man, we put one beer, then another beer, then we got some wings, then we got some nachos, then we got a subway sandwich, and then we got some more wings, and then a couple more shots. And I'm just like, man. I can't hang anymore the way I used to. I really can't. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me. RobertRevisRadio.com. Simple. RobertRevisRadio.com. Click on that media player button. What are they? Join me now.